welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since I've done a shop with me kind of video and today I have my mom with me <laughs> you know us in shopping we've done enough other shopping videos um, so we are sitting in front of the container store and you guys as much as you know how much I love to organize <laughs> I've never been in the container store shocking I know <laughs> anyways so I'm really excited to do, to do this it's actually only about 25 minutes from our house it's not very far I just never because I've never been in one and we didn't really have them in Pennsylvania I didn't yeah um I just never really thought about looking to see if there was one close by so the other day I did and I told her that I was gonna go and she's like well I want to go with you so um yeah that's what we're here and I'm sitting looking at all of these containers really excited to go in <laughs> But before we get started, and the thing that I think is kind of funny about this is that but I am partnering with Shop Tagger today. And a shop, the last time I did my Shop Tagger video, which I partnered with them before, we were shopping. That's right. We were. Was it Black Friday? I think it was. I think it was too. Okay. So, anyways, but I'm gonna tell you that Shop Tagger is really cool. And in fact, since I did my partnership with them last, I've actually been using it more and more. But it's a browser extension and it's also an app. And basically, it tells you when stuff goes on sale. It's super simple. And basically, you can get notifications through email or even on your phone when something goes on sale. So, I think like for bigger items in particular, like mm -hmm. when you're looking for something that costs more, this tool is. Is really really helpful because you know you can have the same item at multiple stores so if you're keeping an eye on like the same couch at mm -hmm. multiple stores whenever that one goes on the greatest sale ever then you can find the couch and the other thing that's really cool about it is you can select how much of a percentage off you want to be notified with mm -hmm. so like if mm -hmm. it goes up to 50% off that's when it will notify you so it's not going to notify you if it's not the biggest deal that you want it to be. I think it's really cool because if you're going on a streak of really wanting to budget something, mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. you're wanting to do a, a good budgeting for like even six months, mm -hmm. this is really, I would think, a good tool to uh, be able to keep track of and you can still maybe get some things that you normally wouldn't mm -hmm. have gotten if you would have know that you have that percentage off. Right. One of the things that I think it's super helpful with is kids clothing. Oh, because okay. like yeah. you know you're getting ready we're getting ready for summertime so mm -hmm. I'm like keeping an eye on like shorts and flip-flops and sandals and things like that so we, you know whenever Old Navy is running a sale it will mm -hmm. let me know on my shop tagger um, that I need to go check out to whatever items I've selected. Shop tagger is a chrome extension all you have to do is go on shoptagger.com click download and then add the extension after you add the extension you only have to put in your email email or you can sign up with Facebook. So to use ShopTagger, just go on the website. So I'm on the Container Store's website and you'll see this little tab on the side once you have the extension downloaded. You can select if you want any price change, 25% off, 50% off, and that is when it will notify you. Then you can add it to your list. This is one way to stay super organized and you can make a list for each category of your shopping. Also, you can get notifications through your email or even on your phone with the Shop Tagger app. As you can see, these green labels represent that the product is on sale. Here are all of my lists and I can select one category and it will only show me that list. Another feature that I love about Shop Tiger, they have this unique little tool that will find coupons for you. So when you're ready to check out from your favorite store, all you have to do is click on the Shop Tagger tab and push the button and it will search for codes for you. So this is great. You don't have to scour the internet looking for codes and it will even enter them in for you right into your cart. They also have a coupon tab that you can scroll through and see what coupons are available. One other thing I wanted to let you know is that Shop Tagger is running a thousand dollar giveaway right now. All you have to do is hit the link in the description box, download Shop Tagger, create a list, and add one thing to one of your lists, and you will be entered to win the thousand dollar giveaway. I highly recommend using this tool, it's free to use, and I know that I've been enjoying it myself.
All right, if you guys are looking for containers that are like the ones that I have in my pantry, this is what you're looking for. They're the ones that seal, and then they keep all of your cereals and dry goods really fresh. Look here, this is really cool. A spot for a recipe card. That's really neat. That's really neat. And Especially if it was like oatmeal. Or grain. And you wanted to know how to make, or rice, yeah. yeah. Remind, rice. remember. Just keep your recipe. Quinoa, right. yeah, that's really cool. What that's brand is that one? Is that? Prepworks. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they even have like kits. Yeah. Oh, I see why. The brown sugar. It actually has. Something to keep it a soft. Terracotta, yes. To keep the brown sugar yes. soft. That's really cool. And then this one, does it have a scoop in it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a scoop, isn't it? It is. It's a scoop for powdered sugar. It is so that. And you it can... evens it off. Yeah. There's like a little thing that scrapes the yeah. measuring That's... spoon off. That's really cool. Those are really cool. Oh, and like you can do this for sprinkles. Wow, these are like really thought through containers. <laughs> these you can make the cheese and crackers like yourself and send them in lunches or this would be such a good snack my girls like these that you buy but you can reuse the container which is really cool and i thought these um snack containers were really cool too especially for a dollar 99 i think that they're really neat it's just odd they're like more flat all of them yeah, are like a little bit more flat, yeah. Oh. So what is yeah, this? I Decor Tall Fresh is the brand. Yeah. Really cool. I am gonna get me two of these. Cause this I think they would be pizza. so great. These I think yes. would be great for leftover pizza. Absolutely. That's what I keep thinking of. Yes. That's what I store my knives in. It's one of those. Yeah. But this thing right here is a knife magnet, which I think is really cool. Because it looks like bamboo. Oh, look here. Here's a whole, here's a strip one. Oh, and you can just stick them yeah. along the wall. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Oh, look at that cutting board with a strainer on it, Mom. Or a colander. Oh, yeah. Oh, goes over the sink. Yeah, isn't that neat? Oh, that is neat. Yeah, yeah, they're really cool. Yeah. Those are like a bunch of basket type bins. have hit the hampers and these are so cute my girls would freak out they are so adorable oh my goodness look at the cactus they have so many baskets I love these ones that fold down you guys remember I picked up one of these at Aldi the other day they like pop you just pull the inside of them out and they pop up and look like that 
They're so cute. They are absolutely adorable. These are the cutest thing ever. So they've got these big ones. And then they've got these tiny little ones. I don't know what I would use them for, but I know that I would, want them. I would know what to use them for. Oh yes, you should get the girls each one. This aisle is so cool. They have all of these like wall organization systems. And these my mom's really looking at because they have magnets on them. So you could put them on your refrigerator, like the side of your refrigerator for papers. And they have like cups. So if you had pens, you could put them on. Or you can get these tiles and put them on the wall. And then those things are magnetic and stick on them. But then you can take them off if you need to or rearrange them if you need to. And if it was totally up to me, I would just do this. I would just plant plants. Yeah, I know. I think they would be neat planters. Yeah, yeah, I just think they would be really, really cute. One for a plant. On the side of the refrigerator. And then this system, I love the aesthetic of this. It's like a pegboard. It's also magnetic, so you could hang papers on it with a magnet. Um, but it's metal, and it has... Um, little shelves and cubies and stuff that can go on it. Okay, so we went to the container store. It was quite the experience. I Again, was, experience. I've been there about three times. This yeah, was, and it, like, honestly, it was kind of almost overwhelming. Like, my brain feels a little bit fried from thinking <laughs> of everything. I did get a couple things. I'll show you guys whenever we get home. But we are at a Starbucks right now. We're going to go in and get some egg bites, and I think I'm going to get... Um, another kind of drink that I like to get. What are you getting? Just your oh my good old coffee. Boring just, old, just no. boring old coffee <laughs> with just so heavy cream. Yeah, it costs less. Yeah, it does. I do. I get. <laughs> I get drip coffee though in the mornings a lot. Anyway, yeah. so we're gonna go do that, and then kind of I think we're gonna look on our phones since this area is very different from the area we live in, mm -hmm. and see what else is around to shop. We had our Starbucks stop, and um, what did you still have your plain old coffee? I drank all I, of mine. My plain old I sip my. I'm a sipper. I'm not. I'm a sipper. Actually, I can be. Yeah, it just depends. So if I know I have to hurry up and drink a coffee, that's just not even fun. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so we are at Marshalls right now. We're gonna go to Marshalls and Ross yet. See if we can get any finds. We really like. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, those kinds of places. They're so much fun to shop at. You can find some really great deals if you I'm look. looking for some pots. So. I brought some succulents back from Florida, and mm -hmm. I cannot wait to do something with them. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. All right. Those are really cute. I love oh, the yes. leather accents on wow, those. That's a great price for them. Yes. Damn. So cute. Oh, I like these black bins with the wooden lids. And they are a plastic storage bin. Oh, yeah. That would be really cute for a plant. Yes, it might be. Someday I'm going to do a DIY on my. Um, channel on my youtube channel we are finding some great finds right mom oh, yes, awesome. i know just wait till you guys see the stuff that i'm getting for my spring decor video <gasps> it's gonna be so fun i'm really excited home is where mom is oh yeah yeah it's fine but what are we supposed to do with this kind of okay <laughs> we'll just point <laughs> Like, and that, and that thing I got at TJ Maxx. <laughs> That's our haul. <laughs> we are home and 
Today did not go as planned. I did not end up vlogging because we had kind of a little bit of chaos. So our hot water heater stopped working. And right now you're probably gonna hear my dad and Corey talking because they're carrying the new one in. We're gonna see if we can talk louder than them. Yeah. So thank goodness <laughs> that my dad was here and could help. I mean, I think Corey could have done it, but it was just worked out. It really worked out. That Mike has been used to doing this. This is stuff he does. I should be filming that. You could barely carry it. <laughs> it's like a, yeah, they're heavy. They're we ended up going to the container store, um, which, I, which I filmed, and then we went to Marshall's. Marshall's. And then we ran into Ross. And I'm glad we did. <laughs> For this commercial break. Are you gonna turn it on again? Nope, I'm done. I don't even know why I have my coat on still. <laughs> it, took it was such a bizarre day. <laughs> I'm really happy with what I did find and I'm definitely going back. I was like super impressed with it. I feel like you could take a space of your home and be able to go find things that look cohesive, which I know not everybody would agree with this concept, but I feel like when stuff is the same, kind of containers, like all the same brand and stuff. It just visually looks more organized. It does. That's this, because if you guys watched my bathroom under the sink organization video that came out probably like three months ago, something like that, I had used a round container from the Dollar Tree and I said that someday, or I think I said this, I thought this, that maybe when I find the right sized Lazy Susan for under there with sides, for like my hairspray and dry shampoo and you know, just stuff like that, um, that I would get it. Well, I found this. I did get some containers, but they're not very big. So, um, because you guys know that I eat a certain way and stuff, there are some times that I need to take some things with me. So one of them is I use a lot of pink Himalayan salt because it's healthier than regular salt. So I wanted a little thing like this to put that in. So I grabbed this. They had a bunch of sizes. She'll show you the ones she got. And then I also grabbed this little container to put my electrolyte powder in so I can just shake it in some water when I'm out and about. And then I got this and this is something that I have been kind of on the hunt for, but it's for your razor in the shower so that it doesn't sit on the floor. Found this awesome shape, which will, um, Oh yeah, I had really shown these when we were in the store. Oh I yeah, well anyway, I got two of those. I also got two of the a size that's like this. This is the lid. And then I also got some of those little glass. Little what are you gonna use those for? Um, these here, I'll probably, probably use for like my electrolytes when I go somewhere. Okay. Or even just supplements, vitamins, uh -huh. that type of a thing. Oh. These here hang off of a shelf. Yeah. And they're really cool. And they I'm have really... white ones too. And when we're done filming this, I want to try putting them in one of mine okay. to see if um, yeah, how they actually work. Yeah, to see if it would work for my cabinet. I got a razor thing because I really needed it. <laughs> I got this thing to put my lids in underneath of my counter. Yeah, wait, wait, we need to talk about this for a second. Okay. The, there was ones that were bigger than this, like double this size. Yeah. And how much were they? Four ninety nine. Yeah, something so these, like that. So this one was like three fifty. Yeah. Which is, yeah. I think, really great. Especially, this would be so awesome for a pantry. It will be. So I've got an organizational uh, video coming up on my YouTube. You want, yeah? Yeah, I will be doing that. A Lazy Susan, and it says that it's for bath stuff. Well, mine's gonna go under my sink for my um, uh, cleaner. cleaner stuff. Then we went to Marshall's. So I'll show what I got at Marshall's. Um, there is one thing that mom actually bought me that is a pretty big piece or inspiration for my upcoming decorating video. And I'm not gonna show it to you guys because it would kind of give it away. That is yet to come. Yeah, it is yet to come. I got this for the decorating video as well. I have some plans for this. And this was like a really great price. It was like $5.99. And then I also got three of these. I'm not gonna show you all three of them because they look exactly the same, but they're this kind of like rustic terracotta look. I got it Marshall's because I'm getting ready to do some plant stuff in my house. She's um, doing, she's gonna be doing some really cool stuff. Um, I got this to hang on the wall and I'm gonna be using succulents. And Here, I'm can just- you tap it? It's like, a, it almost looks like an envelope or something yeah and it's you can it's, hang it's cool yeah. and i just am on my way back from florida so anyhow we went to a place that had just tons and tons of um, succulents and i'm going to be doing succulents just pick up the flags. and some of the actually two and a half flats yeah of these aren't they absolutely gorgeous and they have all kinds of little babies in there and so i'm so excited about what i'm going to do with yeah those. so everywhere she, we went today she was looking for like things that she could put those in this was like a serious find this was a serious find this is really seriously cool and i got this at our big 
splash run into um, Ross. It Ross. was so worth it. Wait, yeah, wait till you see what I So got. we ran in and ran out, but this I grabbed while we were running around. And it was it's how much? Kind of, it was nine ninety nine. So it's like it's like um what do you wanna call Pottery. it? Pottery. It was my cool find along with some um tea towels. I love those. Maybe I can have one. <laughs> we can be tell twins. <laughs> That's an idea. That's an idea. Tell twins. And I'll think of Addie every time I go to use mine. Sneak peek of a hint of something for my spring decor. So I got this. Love that. It looks really pretty in the light, actually. Because I've been on the hunt for something to put my pens and like scissors and stuff by my desk in. And right now it's just in a mug. But this was two $2.99 at Ross. Because I've been looking for something a lot like this because it matches the basket that's in my living room and I got this tray and it was $6.99 so Ross can be kind of hit and miss mm -hmm. but if it you was hit a it, hit it was a hit yeah today. if you hit it at the right time it's mm -hmm. definitely worth at least checking out if you live near mm -hmm. Ross but anyways but we had a really good day together it was okay. like needed we needed to do go we did hang out we did. together so happy had the girls he took them to um chick-fil-a mm -hmm. and they played and then he took them to didn't they want to go to target i think so I when we go to target he they called me and he's like we have one more stop we have to make we're going to target i was like oh my goodness and we came home and we found out why they went to target because um, there was, well, the, what the, how we knew they went to Target was because there was a whole load of snacks on yeah. the counter out here. He bought like candy and chips. Oh, but then he bought some healthy stuff. Oh yeah, then he went and bought them like the juice drinks, like that's like probably Smoothies. got. There's Yeah, they probably had like celery and stuff like that mm -hmm. in them. So and also a bag of apples and a bag of oranges. I think he did that out of sheer guilt. Uh, he probably did. <laughs> he felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's, they're working over there. He can't even. He's not even paying <laughs> Anyways, we need to get to bed, but we had a really good day mm -hmm. and thought it would be fun to show you guys our finds. And um, I also want to remind you guys to check out Shop Tiger. It's free. It's a free mm -hmm. thing that you can do. Don't forget, you guys can find my mom at Little House of Thread <laughs> <laughs> and um, on Instagram and here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys in my next video.